Okay, in this presentation, we are just following on on some exercises on the empty cars data set. We have empty cars uh, converted into a data table called DT. So here is DT. Okay, and just as a sort of peculiarity of uh, Azure Notebooks is that when you print out uh, DT, it doesn't print out. So essentially, what I have is the Magritte pipe operator there just so I can print things out and have a look at them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, first off, what I'm gonna be sort of just focusing on this particular video is uh, just selecting columns and a couple of column operations, okay? Uh, column selection and column omission, okay? So first off, actually what I'm gonna do here is actually show you how to um, uh, select columns there, so that's how you might go about doing it there. So essentially a list of columns, okay, and WT and MP, MP3, sorry, MPG, okay. We don't have them in quotations, that's important. And we have them structured as a little list there. That dot means essentially a list. These are, this is a list of variables that we want to select, essentially. Now, something actually that I feel is very intuitive I'm going to sort of break it now. I have it written down below. So what I'm going to do is break it a bit, okay, is to do something like this. Now that only actually prints out. So that's like, that's very like the normal way of doing things in R, a bit like that, just picking out a column. Or I feel like something like that should work. It doesn't really, okay, it just actually gives us a, the, the, a couple of uh, the names back, essentially. What you could do is ha type in this additional command with equals false, okay? And that prints it out there after all, okay? So that's a, a different way of doing it. But I'll be honest with you, the way I have written below is probably a bit more consistent with the syntax of data table in general. So I'll probably go with um, what's on this this one here usually, okay? Um, yeah, that is how to select columns okay now just actually as a remark here just like uh, you have an empty uh, argument here just before um just before the comma there this is for row operations we're not doing any row operations so that uh, whatever goes in that's just empty there before the comma but don't forget the comma okay now uh yeah so what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to uh, create, I'm going to try and delete a variable here. Okay. Now, probably the best way of go about doing about going about things is actually just pick a subset of variables like a select. Okay. But in this case, what we want to, might want to do is just get rid of one particular variable or a list of variables. Okay. So in this case, what I'm going to do here is get rid of SIL. Okay, now I'm going to save it as DT2 so I can just keep DT and use it again. So now I'm not going to permanently, permanently get rid of it. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of SIL. Now actually, quite often what happens is you get a warning message. I'll just see if I can run it again there. Yeah, you get a warning message. Uh, just actually adding new columns sealed and assigning null is essentially deleting it. Just you know, you, you just sort of says you know you re you realize you're deleting something here. Now, this is uh, this uh, colon equals is like assigned or it's updated as or it's now equal to. Okay, so it's a sort of permanently. It, it does the job permanently. So just just see what happens. If we. Um, Get rid of it. Error. Okay. So two equals. You know, I'm messing around here basically. Yeah, it doesn't work essentially. Okay. So it makes no sense anyway. So essentially what you want to do is just update it permanently with null. Okay. So okay. So that's the sort of it just gets a, a permanently updated as null, or, which is essentially gotten rid of. Okay. You can do that for a list of them there. Okay. So I think that one should work. Let's have a look. There's one of these are broken. I'm pretty sure this one's okay. Oh, print it. Yeah, well, it's obviously not giving me any error messages anyway, so that's a good sign. There we go. Yeah, that's good. So that's DT3. It's just sort of, it's the empty cars data set without, um, 
without uh, M miles per gallon mpg or weight which is wt so they're just gone from it now so that's how you get rid of um a group uh, okay uh, a, a list of um ver uh, variables okay now what i'm going to try here is dot i'm going to mess around now so i'm deliberately going to break things okay what happens if i do this get an error okay oh yeah because i got my quotation marks on so now what happens it still doesn't work okay so yeah so that is it that's essentially the way we go about doing things here is just actually create a little vector and then update that now do you think like i'm sort of thinking this is not particularly consistent is it okay because if i was to get do this that get gives us a message yeah, that only gives you know uh, that uh, that gives us the prints out the 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 um, gives us the the column names okay, whereas if I do this now there we go that's a bit of an error message there again so essentially actually sort of a point I'm sort of beginning to make is don't just actually sort of get used to data table syntax in its own right okay don't really to any great extent try and enforce what you knew and understood already from r okay just sort of take a blank uh clean slate approach to data table a bit well you know just uh, to a certain degree okay we leave it there